ลิปนี้เป็นการตัดทอนมาแค่บางส่วนผู้ที่สนใจสามารถชมคลิปฉบับเต็มได้ตามลิงก์ที่ให้ข้อมูลไว้ภายใต้คลิปนี้ Well I originally learned Zen a little Zen and then more and more I learned um, Vipassana style uh, you know following the breath and and then I went into the Satipatthana Sutta and used that a lot The Buddha, as you know, taught that suffering arises due to causes, and it passes away due to causes. So the question then becomes, where are those causes to be found? Most of the causes, I think, are found in the mind. So I got very interested in psychology and neurology because those are the two sciences that really talk about the mind. Psychology, of course, talks about the mind, but more and more, especially the last 20 years. Neuroscience is starting to tell us a lot about the underlying, the underneath neural activities, the brain processes that underlie mental processes. And then the brain can change. Oh, dramatically! And there's much research, um, you know, in my writings and and other people too. You can see pictures even of the brain changing uh, when people, for example, meditate. Uh, or uh, tune into their bodies, or practice loving kindness, or uh, focus on the positive. Mm -hmm. All of those things change the brain. Mm -hmm. If the mind is learning, mm -hmm. the brain has to change. Mm -hmm. How else can learning be established? Whether it's a little child learning to walk, you know, mm -hmm. or someone later on in life learning a new language, or how to play the piano, or something like that, or how to make a new dish. New kind of food, you have to learn. So something has to change. It's always been understood that something had to change structurally in the brain. How can science help teach the people more on dharma? Very interesting. Well, one, when people understand that what the Buddha was teaching is really true in the brain, that supports conviction. And when people have conviction, they're more motivated. It really helps to have some conviction that the teachings are true, and that practice works. Practice bears fruit. Practice changes the brain. You know, when we have that deep inside ourselves, uh, we are much more willing to practice. That's the big issue in practice. It's motivation. It's practicing every day, not just formal meditation. You know, but actually, but making it part of our life. Where it's difficult, which is with relationships in most cases. Well, how do we motivate ourselves to practice every day? That's where understanding can really come in. Thank you, Buddha, for explaining how nature works in a way that is completely consistent with what modern science shows. คลิปนี้เป็นการตัดทอนมาแค่บางส่วนผู้ที่สนใจสามารถชมคลิปฉบับเต็มได้ตามลิงก์ที่ให้ข้อมูลไว้ภายใต้คลิปนี้